I'm ready to I'm ready to make moves. You ready? Dude. If you're ready to go, I'm ready. Uh, to, let's give it a few more minutes. I'm ready to do this shit. I got I got cold beer. It's it's Sunday. I'm doing it. I'm okay. I'm, I'm ready to make I'm ready to, to go. Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. It is Sunday, although are we keeping track of days yet? As a as a nation? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about this for too long, but it's going to come up. There's one person who's not keeping track of days or times. Who? We're going to get to that. So anyway, um, thanks for joining us. It's uh, the Sunday happy hour live at five here with your buddies at Texas Toast. To my right, your left is Chris. Behind the camera, of course, is the lovely and talented Mrs. Toast. Though you have no idea how lovely she is, but maybe some of you do because you've been out here to join us. So what has been going on, Chris? So much good stuff. Yeah. We did so much good stuff. We did a lot of good stuff. Not just the whole week, but today. Yeah, we, we did, did some, some really fun stuff today in the uh, online class. Do you think, will we have a, have a like, yeah, is that, will that body can... be dry enough to before oh, it's yeah, all done yeah. to kind of bring out and show everybody yeah, a little we bit? we got the hook on it. Yeah. Okay, Yeah, cool. we'll show it off at the end of the thing. Cool. Um... How many people have joined us so far? This is going to be a fun topic, uh, 34, it looks like, right now. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, this is a topic that I've wa been wanting to do for a while, and we were, we were trying to think of, like, ways to not sound completely douchey about it, and it's going to be hard to not sound totally like a douchebag, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I know that that's, that was kind of high on your list, because you're like, I don't want to sound like an asshole. When we do this video, yeah. So, yeah. so like, like we're cooler than everybody else because we know yeah, cause, slightly more. No, no. What? Well, all, all. <laughs> here's, here's the the topic today is how to not sound like a tool at the paint store, and I have sounded like a tool at the paint. I was gonna store. say I think I still do sometimes. Yeah. Well, that and it depends on who. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna we're gonna tell you guys some some ways to sound like a painter and not a guy who spends a lot of time on guitar forums because guitar forums have you they have the the um the lingo the what do they call it the the colloquisms on on guitar forums uh, that's not the word i'm looking for the the lexicon of guitar forums how's that yeah you didn't wow, even think i could man. use that word in a sentence much less really hard. much Holy less cow. call it up how do you spell that i don't I even know what that means i can't spell it but yeah the, the lexicon of guitar forums is very different from the actual names of products when you go to buy paint at either like you know like a sherwin williams or a, an automotive paint store so we're going to get to that but um yeah man so uh so what else has been going on? Well, I don't know if you know this, but today, earlier today, I added a class for August. Oh, cool. We talked about doing that. So I've added a um, uh, a five-day class for August, August 17 through 21st. If you guys are wanting to come out and do a class that's a full five days, um, there's one coming up in August. Now, that's either a build your own, like whatever you want, or you can do classic telly. There's really only one difference, and that's your hardware package. Yeah. Because if you said, I want to build a classic telly, but then made a strat shape, but it had a telly pick guard and stuff, that, you know, I mean, you could do that too. Did we get a super chat? We did from our good friend Joseph Caswell. Hey, Joe, how are who you? He says man? his uh, Nissan SEMA this week finally here. Is that his right hand drive? That is his right hand drive, Japanese market only uh car. So Joe Luxury is. Luxury sedan is so the Joe what is I left read on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a right-hand drive car. Yeah. The, so the shifters on the the left mm -hmm. are the pedals back. It's an automatic. No, the pedals are, are normal. Pedals are in the. Why would they? Like why? Yeah. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter, but yeah, it would. <laughs> kind of but. taking this whole left-handed thing to the <laughs> you make to it the extreme, extra aren't lefty. you there, Joe? I don't. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see this car, and I told him yesterday in a in a messenger thing uh, that I've never actually sat behind the wheel. We'll have to recreate right the scene car. in Caddyshack where Judge Smalls comes out and yells and Chevy Chase goes, <laughs> and he's, he's, yeah. Put that steering wheel on the right side. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing his new, uh, his new ride. Do you think, I hope that he has a bolo hat when he drives it, because it's kind of, it is a luxury car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Kind of a fancy yeah. car. Yeah. Um, so, so I added a class in August, and of course, there are still some classes in July that are available. Now, 
Um, I think Saturday, in fact, I know Saturday is all the way full. And the reason I know that is there's a guy who came into the shop today and he's going to come to the Saturday one. And, and I haven't put sold out on it yet, but it is in fact sold out Saturday. But Monday through Friday is still wide open. And every day is going to be fun, but I don't know what other like extracurriculars are going to happen on what day. So what do I mean by that? Um, so Dylan from Dylan Talks Tone is going to be here for every day. Dan from Guitar Wood Experts is going to be here a couple of days. Mike Learn from Learn Guitars, Learn Airbrush is going to be here a day, a couple days. I don't know. Um, uh, Steve from Maximum Guitars is going to be here for some some of it. There's a lot of cool stuff. Of course, we're going to do belt center drag racing. We're going to do Little Evil Knievel. We're going to do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, guys, I said that JJ the Boss from Memphis Street Outlaws was. I was just goofing around. I you invited. You finally heard back from him. No, no, I He's haven't. Not but coming. What? Well, well, I. How about this? I haven't heard back from him. I'm just going to assume I was just I was just horsing around. <laughs> you guys knew that. Although I think someone was like, "Really?" And I'm like, "No, not really." So, but wouldn't it be something if he show, if he walked through that door? Yeah. Would anything surprise you at this point, Chris? No. Yeah. Hey, I heard y'all race belt sanders here. <laughs> He'd want to bet deal? some money. What's too. the deal with all the little all the little daughters or girls or whatever? I watch like an eighth of an episode. Oh yeah, there's a lot a of like of... a lot of the people on his. There's a lot of girls who raced the car. Okay. Like his wife and his okay. wife. I'm and not sure how they're related. Yeah, but all, all I saw was a bunch of girls yeah. in his cars racing. I think he likes to have girls probably like beat up, on, up their, on, like, on the boys. Well, yeah, I think it's, a, it's yeah. sort of a way. It's like having a sleeper car. Like, oh, I don't think that car is going to go very fast. And then, yeah, but... But of course, it's not a big deal. To anyway, what, did we get another thing? We did, but then he he uh, he uh, retracted his message. I think because he he uh, got something wrong. But we'll see. Who uh, who said it? Uh, oh, Doug Santanello. Hi, Doug. Doug's coming. I think it was a ten dollar or a, a ten dollar beer. beer on uh, Dylan? on Dylan for Dylan. Oh, I don't okay. Know, I forget what it said. So, uh, if you guys have watched the video, you saw Dylan's uh, video about, uh, he was at Doug's house and, um, and got to play the challenger that is the, the all the way hollow challenger with the, um, the daily driver neck. And Doug got that one. That's a cool guitar. So yeah. Um, so, uh, let's see. Great guitar build off update. There's been a few. Um, so guys, I have been getting a few emails and I know that Crimson Guitars has been getting a few emails and it goes something like, and it's a little something like this. Hey, I want to do the, the, the challenge, but I'm not really a guitar builder. How do I do it? We, with it short answer is you don't with a, but long answer is you do. Here's how, but it's not quite what you're thinking with an and. So, um, so that right now the contestants, as as I understand it, from the last time I looked at the website, was Texas Toast Guitars, the winners. We already know who's going to win. It's going to be us. I know who the winner is. And then everybody else is Ben from Crimson, uh, Brad Ango from Ango Guitars, Dan from Guns and Guitars. T I always forget this lady's name. Tamer. Tamer uh, from. Forget what her so, like a Tamir Woodwork or some, yeah. something. Yeah. And uh, Philip McKnight um, okay. from Know Your Gear. There might be more people being added, but um, what you have to know is what all these people have in common is either one they know Ben, or two they have lots and lots and lots of YouTube subscribers. And I think that's a both. Y yeah. <laughs> Except for us. Except for us. Now <laughs> the only reason we were allowed to compete was it, Ben very graciously let everyone know it was our idea. And in some ways it was. But I think he'd been wanting to do something like this for a while. Um, and Ben, you know, he called me up after you guys let him know, hey, the guys at Texas Toast are, are you know, wanting to do this thing. He called me up and said, that sounds great. I would like to do that. And one of the things I want to do is push a new product that we have and it's these kits. And, um, you know, so we had to, we had to kind of acquiesce a little bit from what our original idea was. And so people are getting, I'm getting a lot of like, we're going to get to this, but I'm getting a lot of, you know, Oh, I can't believe it's a kid guitar build up. Hold that thought. 
uh, and hold that smug at it. No, hold that thought. I'll, we're going to come back to that. Um, and, uh, and we came up with something that's actually really, really neat. Now, the potential downside is that there are people who go, well, I want to build a kick guitar too. So if you do want to build a kick guitar along with all the contestants, but you don't have a YouTube channel, um, I, I, I get it, guys. You really want to get your ass kids kicked by Texas Toast Guitars. I get it. There's a lot of people who want to get beat up by us. And, and there's some prestige in that. There's a lot. By, got beat up by the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can probably name four or five guys that got knocked out by Mike Tyson. Yeah. Or Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, was there a super chat that we missed? Uh, Doug Santanello says uh, he doesn't know how to get to the $10. So I think uh, you only need to do what you've done three more times, Doug, and you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Let you slide on the bus. Dollar ninety nine. Or just busting your chops. There it is. Uh, nine ninety nine. All God right. bless you. Doug. Cool. Thanks, man. Somebody had a request um, okay. when you were talking about the kits. Yeah. Uh, they would like you to do a reveal of the kit and a, and a, like a little Ex like a box opening. Excellent and a, idea. And yeah. you guys know we are going to do that. Now, Chris and I have some very special. Secret plans for our video videos that we're going to do for this um, this yeah. challenge. And I think you guys are going to be... No, I'm not even going to say I think you guys. You guys are going to be blown away at how much fun it is. Yeah, but, yeah. But let's get back to... Um, the point I'm trying to make is if you want to build a kit along with us, um, I think what the guys at Crimson are doing is if you do a hashtag... I, I, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know here uh, in a little bit. I, I, I had one of the piece of paper with me. But they're doing a thing like hashtag great guitar build off crimson guitar or something or another. And um, I, I didn't bring them up. Oh. Um, th then whoever makes the, a guitar that looks, and then like it gets voted on, whoever makes the coolest uh, kit among y'all who aren't. <coughs> Wasn't it about me. who? Who gets the highest bid on the guitar? No, no, no. This is a different thing. Oh. This is so, for people that want to build. Oh, yeah. yeah so, so let's say that, you know, um, uh, Bob Smith decides, I want to build a kit with you guys, but I'm not going to be in the contest. You can send pictures of your what you come up with, and, and I think there's a prize at the end, uh, and it's going to be picked by Crimson Guitars, I think. Cool. So that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's um, nice of them to do that. Yeah. yeah. And the other neat thing is if you use code TexasToast10 at checkout, uh, I think you get a little bit of a break on the price of the kit, and uh, we actually get a little bit of a kick. We get like 53 cents every time you do that, so... No, the guys at Crimson Guitars have been super, super cool, and I almost feel bad that we're gonna have to beat them as bad as we're gonna have to beat them. So, anyway, um, <laughs> I I thought it was Texas Toast one. Oh, <laughs> oh, like like they knew who was gonna win. Uh, oh, oh, that. <laughs> so yeah, instead of writing out W O N O H, they just put the number one and then the number zero for yeah. one. Oh, yeah. that yeah. would be that's okay. That's what I'm. Let's tell everyone now. <laughs> I'm trying to get my code to work and it doesn't work. So yeah, uh, T E X A S T O A S T one zero at checkout, and you'll get a little bit of a break on the price, and um, that will be cool. Now, for all those people who are like, I can't believe it's just a kit thing. Well, first of all, you guys wanted Ben to do this. Now that Ben's doing it, just just relax. This is and and it, why is it called Great Guitar Build Off 2020, Chris? I had something and now I can't remember what, what it is. <laughs> because that means that there could be a 2021. Oh, yeah. 2022. Yeah. This is Duh. not the last time we're going to do this. Right. So yeah. you have to start somewhere. It might be somewhere. like the Olympics, like every the, four years. There'd we don't know. a summer and a winter version. We the don't first know. and only ever yeah. guitar build-off yeah. featuring all these guys. Yeah, well, yeah. If, you, if you were going to do the first and only, you wouldn't put a year on it. So right. anyway, yeah. So, so um, and, and the other thing is, do people really think that you and I are just going to assemble a kit and go, yes. ta-da, look what we did? Or, or we're just going to put a fancy paint job on something and go, and, you know. We're not even going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're just going to. Milk paint. <laughs> Milk paint and done. Yeah. So I rest might, assured. I might, if, if it comes with a pick guard, I might modify the shape of the pick guard. I think when you see what I have requested from... The guys at Crimson Guitars, you will you will go. Oh, oh no! I need now, a pick guard. Now I see what is oh, up, Matt Sleeve. Oh, I know Re what's, what's up, Matt Sleeve. We have a couple of super chats. Okay, but look, uh, said, rest assured, your buddies at Texas Toast are going to do something wildly cool with this kit build, and you won't know whether to shit or go blind. Okay, 
All right, so uh, Ricky Faria gave us uh, three dollars Canadian, hey. which I think is like eighty-seven dollars. Wow, I think. that's awesome! Just I because I asked about doing like the box opening. Oh, are they yeah. are they loonies or toonies? I don't know. I think that was a, what at one time people in Canada would call. I, 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 maybe Ricky can tell us what that. Maybe means. yeah yeah. Well, all it says it says C A three dollars. So I figure that's either. Uh, I thought it was like Canada or California. But I, I think know. we use the same money as California. I think still we do. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as of today, yeah. we still do. Then Red Clover Guitars gave us 10 bucks for Beer Fund. Thank you, Red Yay. Clover. We His guitar all... is in paint right now. It is. Yeah. I saw it in there. Yeah. Okay. Is that enough uh, update on Crimson for now? We got a little... Yeah, I okay. think so. Guys, if you have any questions, uh, send them in. We're, we'll be happy to answer them as they come in. And um, uh, yeah, we'll try to get to all of them. The comment section is fast and furious. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the $1 coin was a loony. Okay. $2 was the toonie. Makes sense. Okay. So that really was a thing. Loonies and toonies? Apparently. Okay, cool. I don't, yeah, I don't know. That's just, you know, my brain records little teeny weird things and I don't know, it's out of context. Well, the that... one had a pic had a loon on it, the bird. Oh. And the two had was a two, two loons. Oh. So it was a two me. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Are Tamar's they coins? Three by three custom. Tamara's three by three custom? That's her, that's her site. She's the wild card here. I mean. She really I, is. We're, we're, She's we're bringing a completely different outlook. Totally separate thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm still not, I'm not a scared of her. But, you know. It's a completely different head. Completely totally. different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, uh, yeah, are there any questions before we move on to how to not sound like a tool at the paint shop? Uh, no. Okay. Um, well, let's, let's jump right in then to how to sound not like a tool. <laughs> so, guys, like I said, this was a topic that Chris and I have talked about many times. I rail on this um, at, at the classes, and it's just, it, it's a peeve of mine, and, and I, I, I don't want it to come off as a peeve of mine, though, because it, it, you're, you're not doing yourself any favors when you ask for something at the paint booth, and, or at the paint shop, and they go, huh? So, the first one is, let's, let's role play a little bit, Chris, okay. if you want to. So, and I'll... Let's, let's... Where are we going to the paint shop? What are we talking about when we talk about going to All the right, paint so, shop? All right, so so let's say that uh, you are the proprietor of a um, of a Sherwin Williams home paint shop, and I go in and I'm looking for a specific product. Okay. Okay. And this is a home shop. So yeah, the one that well, the sell... one that we used to go to. Okay. 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 So so, so they sell latex paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and oil-based stains and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just Great. like the I'm one... the proprietor. You're the proprietor. Okay. Okay. So you, Hi, I welcome Sherwin Williams. What can I get for you? Uh, I need some nitro. <laughs> See that look? That's the look you're gonna get from the guy at Sherwin Williams. Um. The proprietor of a Sherwin Williams paint shop. All right, let's let's do it. Let's go again. Round two. Ready? Uh, same store. Same store. Same okay. everything. All right. Hi, welcome to Sherwin Williams. Yeah. Do you guys have any poly? Yeah, it's right over here. <laughs> it's polyurethane. <laughs> okay. Cool. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what. The, that's what, what they would think. You that's might. right. That's right. So, so guys on guitar forums. Poly what? Y yeah, poly. Esther? Yeah, you're looking for polyurethane. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what a lot of people think too when they say poly. So, uh, you guys who go to forums and you use terms like nitro and poly, y you're 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 kind of generalizing a little too much here. So, what you really mean? Now, now watch this. Okay, same scene, Arino. Okay, ready? You're the proprietor. Okay. What do you want? No, you, come on, do it right. <laughs> no, you've been in here before asking for a bunch of <laughs> bunch weird, of weird shit. shit. <laughs> what now? I know you don't know what you're talking about. Hi, welcome to Sherwin Williams. Yes. Do you have nitrocellulose or acrylic lacquer? Well, yeah, we have some lacquer products. Okay, there you go. Now, notice how I said the word lacquer. And notice how I said nitrocellulose and the words acrylic. So why is that important, Chris? Why, like, so, so what is the difference really between nitrocellulose lacquer and acrylic lacquer? Uh, the difference is what the solid is. Okay. That 
eventually ends up getting left on the surface. Okay. They're both plastics, They're right? both plastics. Um, they're just derived differently. Um, okay. Yeah. Nitrocellulose has a lot of um, plant-based so stuff now, in it. We used to buy gallons of nitrocellulose lacquer from Sherwin-Williams mm -hmm. and a lot of other places. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, it probably wasn't near the amount of I nitrocellulose was, I think it was about five percent as opposed to the like the what is the stuff that gibson and fender have to pay fines well gibson year? pays a fine um theirs is i think seven percent okay to make and they they do that because they want the yellowing and okay. aging characteristic yeah yeah of it um, so the rest of it is acrylic lacquer so guys i'm not going to say you can't get nitrocellulose lacquer that has the same amount of solid that Gibson uses, but you might have to special order that stuff. But but and you can use it on auto paint because it is auto paint. Whoa 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 whoa! What was that? Oh, can you use it on auto paint? No. No 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 no. So we're, let's talk about that here in just a second. Okay. So so what what so when you say nitro, what you really mean is nitrocellulose lacquer. It is very common for you to find just plain clear nitrocellulose lacquer. It is very difficult to find nitrocellulose lacquer that has a color mixed into it mm -hmm. or is metallic or, or, or is tinted, but it's easy to add tint or dye or, or I guess you could add metallic yeah. pigment to yeah. it. But if you wanted to buy like a, a metallic, a ice blue metallic, Mm -hmm. In lacquer, you would probably be getting acrylic lacquer. Yeah. Okay. Even even back when Fender was well, not Fender. Even when Fender was using lacquer in the fit, most of those colors that they used of the color were acrylic. Okay. And then they would put whatever they were shooting over the top. Of so it, it might the be acrylic lacquer came clear out in, over the top. In 1960 okay. was when they first started using acrylic lacquers on cars. Okay. And so most of the colors were acrylic. Okay. So um, that that's that's what Chris was saying about most of the car colors were acrylic and and so when you're talking about a car, um, you can spray lacquer on just about anything, nitrocellulose or acrylic. It sticks to everything. And you guys, if you've ever been to, you want to know what the difference is between like a, like a really lousy auto paint repair and a really good auto paint repair besides a couple thousand bucks is the products that they use. Because you can make, you can shoot lacquer on something. It'll look great when you go to pick it up. But after the first snow, it's going to start peeling and popping and, and it won't be. It is, won't that, be. is that still like constantly shrinking and drying yep. and yep. eventually will turn yep. to dust? Yeah. So, so yeah, so what, what are the advantages? Oh, go ahead. So why can you buy lacquer at um, a, a home paint store like Sherwin-Williams or Home Depot, but you can't buy it at the automotive place? Ah, because nobody in the automotive place wants it. Correct. Okay. And also you can pretty much only buy clear. Yeah, yeah. At the, at the so home it's, places. It, it, it is very rare to find... And that's because people still, you can still use it on interior wood. A yeah. lot of houses still have, yep. are still sprayed in clear lacquer mm -hmm. trim. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, It's so. not unheard of for, for like 25 years ago to go to the paint store, automotive paint store, and go, I need this. And they would mix up lacquer for you that was that color. Not anymore. Yeah. You got to go to a specialty shop to get that. I'm, I'm imagining. No Unless one, you live in California. No one's making any really, really great lacquer anymore. Mm, either, right? You know, it depends on who you ask. Really? If you talk to guys who, who whose business card says luthier on it, then yeah, there are lots of awesome there's lacquer products. not a lot of products. science going into improving the lacquer. No, there's not a lot of paint science no. in lacquer these days. So yeah. Compared to modern paints, which we're going to get to. Um, but... What, so what are the what are the advantages to using lacquer, nitrocellulose, or acrylic? Um, it melts into the previous. Yeah, stuff, it melts right? into the previous stuff. It's easier to repair. Okay. Uh, it dries to the touch to where you can handle it relatively fast. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that it's ready Workable. for yeah, yeah to to be worked or whatever. But but it yeah, it it dries to the touch fast enough. Yeah. Faster. Um, that's about it, really. Yeah, I think so too. Um, that's really all they had back then. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's the key. That's the why, big that's key. That's why they use yeah. it. Yeah. Because yeah. nothing better was around. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as something better was around, pretty much everybody started using it. All right. So so now that we know that if you if you just use the word nitro. That doesn't give the proprietor of a paint store enough information. What you're really looking for is you need to add cellulose lacquer to the, to the end of, of nitro for them to know what you're talking about. Or you can just say lacquer. Um, and if you go in and say, I'm looking for some poly, what do they think you're talking about? Okay, let me, hold, let me ask a different way. I am the reader of a guitar forum. You are the proprietor of a paint shop. What do I think when I say poly? What do you think when I say poly? So what do I think? Yeah. Polyurethane. Yeah, but what I'm thinking is polyester. Because what usually happens is poly is used as, it's a derogatory term, and it's usually followed by, it's usually prefaced with thick and, and bracketed by uh, crappy, gloopy, shitty, <laughs> you know. So thick, poly, awful, ridiculous paint that doesn't Cheap. let the wood breathe. Yeah. yeah. That's polyester, but what's polyurethane is not anything like polyester sealer. No, it's no. not. And I yeah, polyurethane is I think an oil-based um, product and uh, I don't know that much about. I should do a little diving into what polyester is or polyurethane. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. polyurethane is. Um, so polyester yeah. though is a is an awesome product and the 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 way that guitars are sprayed with polyester these days, it, it's easy to indict the polyester when you really should be indicting the workforce. And maybe not the workforce so much as just that's the way that guitars are made. Mm -hmm. um, and to get that that colorful candy shell, you need to have you can't see the wood. You can't feel the, the but you can spray polyester so thin that it it um that you can feel every every bump and every grain. So yeah, polyester is a great product and it seals wood excellently. What's what's up there? What do we got? Uh, let's let's keep talking and we'll we'll talk about that uh, when we get to it there, Doc. Okay. And thank you for the beer money. It's always greatly appreciated. But if you go into the paint shop and go, I need I need poly or or if you go in and say, I need nitro, don't sell me any of that poly shit. Poly what? Yeah. Polyester, polyurethane, polyacrylic, poly want a cracker. There, there's so many polys. Um, yeah. So I believe if, if, if Andrew St. Pierre is watching, perhaps he can give us some uh, some insight to the Latin. It's many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> many esters. Yes. Many urethanes. Chlorobus is also many in Latin. Okay. Poly means made up. Of gotcha. Gotcha. So, uh, okay. So now let's say that uh, that you or you want to be that you want to be the, the shopper or the proprietor of a, of a, of an automotive paint. I'll shop. let you be the uh, proprietor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you want? Okay. Which which proprietor of you of know which, which one? Okay. So there's a there's a Finish Masters right over there, and I'm gonna be the crotchety old bitch who works there, and right. Chris is gonna come in. I'm gonna come. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Finish Masters. What do you want? It wouldn't even. She wouldn't even. That would never happen. That right wouldn't have. That wouldn't have even happened. I would have had to approach her. Yeah, you would have had to come up and, and basically like clob her over the head with it. That's yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Yes. You're right. You're right. What can I do for you? Oh, so hold on. So hold on. Okay. Right, wait. Wait. Hold. Take two. Yeah. Take two. Okay. Ready. Go. Oh, uh, excuse me. Do you do you work here? I can't keep a straight face. <sighs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I need some. I need some nitro. We don't have that. Go away. I think that's exactly what she would say. <laughs> that's not exactly what she did say. But no, but it I might gather. as well have been. Yeah. Well, the beginning part was kind of exactly. Or 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 do another one. Um, do you guys sell lacquer? <sighs> You're an idiot, and I hate you. Leave. <laughs> That's really what she brings to the party. So, okay, um, it's let's say let's say that you don't. This would never happen at that Finish Masters, but let's say there was someone who was actually halfway helpful. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so like like the old like the old crotchety guy. Yeah. Eventually, he became halfway. Yeah. But what he did, remember, he was like 
he would just start rattling off stuff. Uh -huh. And I uh, huh? Product what? numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Product he numbers. He was like hazing was you guys. He was. Yes. Totally was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's different than just yeah. being a bit. And that's when we looked like tools. Yeah. We were tools to him. Yeah, there's no doubt yeah. about it. Thanks no to the crotchety old guy for yeah. yeah. you not tools. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to look at some nitro colors. Do you mean, we, we don't have that. We have base coat color. Well, like like you know, like like old car colors, um, like 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 fender colors. Oh, uh, we well, you know fenders are usually chrome. We don't do chrome plating here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Because um, they don't know, guys. They don't know what fender yeah, is at, yeah. at, at you know. But if you said car guys go here, not Cadillac car. color. Okay. Right. They could they could say, you know what? We have colors for. Every car back to the what, they said back to the sixties. Oh, they have well, yeah. Even oh, yeah. older. Sure, I was waiting for the what year Dodge Nitro. Oh, that would yeah that yeah which which year Nitro yeah, yeah. which year Dodge Nitro yeah, 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 that, you need a color for that would be a good yeah. one too yeah. Um, what's the paint code? Oh, that's one of my favorites. What's the paint code? Yeah. yeah. So um, or, or remember we went in there one time and you're like, uh, we need some color. We need Daphne blue. Uh -huh. It's a '56 Cadillac color. And the lady who didn't want to help us because she's so mean, they actually had it. It was in the old thing. First, she handed us a Hyundai book, which, of course, it's not going to be in that. <laughs> and then she handed us some, like, little tiny thing. And there it was. It was the old, Blue. Yeah, it was the yeah. old color chart from 59 or whatever yeah, and it was. Sure enough. And she said, well, I don't see it. And I said, well, there it is. It's yeah. Daphne Blue. You just have to know how to spell Daphne. Starts with a D. Yeah, you have to be able to read. Yeah, and yeah, you have to give a yeah. crap. And and they it turned out they crap. couldn't quite cross reference it. I'm sure somebody else could. Yeah, but yeah. she couldn't do it. Or wouldn't do. So it. then, she said, oh, "I said, well, just give us a some blues that are close to this, and we'll just sort That's of when she file through Hyundai it." And then she book, gave us the yeah. Hyundai book. Yeah. yeah, and and then she said something about spending all day there. Yeah. looking at colors. Yeah. Like, like that's going to be above us to like irritate this lady enough yeah. to spend the entire day yeah. there. But anyway, so I think we're getting yeah. yeah. Okay, what about this one? What about if you said, "I want some two K." Uh huh. Um, I'd be like. Some auto places sell a product called 2K. I think there's a, a spray can stuff that is called 2K. Yeah, sort of and like think, the Kleenex or Q-tip, yeah. right? Instead of uh -huh. yeah. yeah, but I think that's kind of what it's turned into is um, that's code for any two-part catalyzing okay. top coat, clear but coat. But does it does is that is that kind of synonymous with a a self-contained paint? And aerosol that you push a button in and it breaks into a catalyzing it thing and you can might shake be. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's one of the things that and and dumb me when people tell me they're they're doing that, I'm like almost afraid to ask. What do you mean by that? I don't know you either. Because they say yeah, so I put a I put a two K top coat on it. What, I don't know what that I, is. Yeah, I like re ranch or something. No, 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 and I originally thought two K just meant. Um, a two-part paint that was mm -hmm. paint was one part and hardener was another part and you mix them together and you spray the paint and then it catalyzes and gets it doesn't dry it hardens like epoxy even though it's not epoxy um, and that's what I thought all 2k was but it, it seems to me that 2k is actually a, a product name or maybe even a brand name that it, it might be yeah or, or I think product, it might be a, a proper name when I heard k2 I thought of the k2 no, it's 2K. Oh, see, better off dead, the K2. Yeah, yeah. Beat that douche guy. Year, Y2K. No, the K2. Okay. <laughs> Y2K was 20 years ago. Was oh, Did Doc have something he wanted to talk about? Yeah. Remember yeah, what? so he was asking, um, are you using waterborne or solvent-borne products? Automotive in Canada is all man mandated to be waterborne now. Just curious. Okay. Uh, we do not use any waterborne paint at this time, um, but... I, you know, I am not opposed to it. Now, there's a difference between waterborne and water-based. Yeah. And and I'm not 100% sure what the differences are. But, um, yeah, I think when people think water-based, they think, like, you know, Latex. Home Depot paint. Yeah. It's not Home Depot paint. So there's a lot about that that I don't know. Um, We're slowly learning a little more about it. Yeah. I've only heard mostly bad things about it. And even guys that use it say it can be really tricky to use. Hmm. And I need as much help as I can get. 
Yeah. And yeah. having a product that's tricky is not helping. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. So. It doesn't spark my interest. I can't wait for you to see the playback of the uh, teeny burst that you did in class today. Yeah. How's coming? Because it was really pretty fucking impressive. You were like Bob Ross in that thing. Right? <laughs> yeah. And your beard was Bob Rossing it too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. It was. Yeah. I think you're gonna be impressed with yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Presently yeah. surprised watching your sex tape. Like, ooh, I've ever tried. Presently <laughs> surprised <laughs> watching your sex tape. <laughs> Um, what are some other things that you can say at the paint shop and kind of sound like a tool? Um, what? What colors do you have? No. I'm just well, <laughs> I'm just teasing. They love it when you go in and look at colors. Mm -hmm. um, the finish master closest to the shop, and it's like, guys, it's like across the street. Pretty much. They're, they are not interested, I don't think, in having people come in and shop. The one that's 20 miles that way is way different, and the people are, are, are it's a different vibe at that Yeah, point. they're way more helpful there, and they're, yeah, yeah, a little bit more willing to to teach you or to help you, yeah, yeah. They get the right products. Them, yeah. They do need John Taffer, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you just need to know, you know, the, what kind of system you're using. Yeah. So as soon as we figured out, oh, okay, we're, we're using a, base coat clear coat system yeah, yeah. or two part paint sure there, there's a lot there's a lot of paint terms yeah, that, that yeah. do not do not fly between the auto paint store and the guitar form how about this one it's a favorite of mine if you said i need some thinner uh huh or some paint thinner uh huh or i got this base coat what thinner do i put in it so i can spray it uh huh there's, well, do you mean reducer? They mean reducer. That's right. So in the in the automotive paint world, thinner is something that you clean stuff with. Yeah, that's that'd be lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner or mineral spirits or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So but but if you want to make the the paint less viscous, you don't use thinner. You use reducer. Reducer. Um, but back in the old days, if you had nitrocellulose or acrylic lacquer mm -hmm. you wouldn't use a reducer you would use a thinner thinner that's right so so yeah so that these these are all things that you need to kind of kind of know a little bit about what what about if you said single stage paint or two stage paint what's what's that what's so that all single about? stage is color and clear all in one you shoot it it gets glossy that's that okay it goes on it dries glossy you don't put a clear over the top of it. Are cars done like that today? Um, I, you know, I don't know all that much about factory paint yeah, jobs. Yeah. Um, they probably are done that way. Um, yeah. I guess it depends on the factory, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but I know that's almost kind of the standard. And I. Well, anyway. So, Mike says yeah. that like, um, uh, remember that Fordite that we had? That uh -huh. was actually from the. That was from a uh, like, like a, a Winnebago or, or a tractor or, 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 or something. Yeah, 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 big rig Peterbilt. Or yeah, something, yeah, something and it like was that. it was only a few colors, a lot of white, blue, and red. Yeah, yeah. and black. I think. And they used to have yeah. this product called Imron, and I think everybody had their version of Imron. Okay. And it shot. It was a single stage. It shot really thick. Okay. And it was tough as hell. Did you just shoot one coat on and it well, was done? Well, I was probably two just, or okay. three, but, but I mean, it was, yeah, one, yeah, it was super strong, super stinky, super horrible for the environment, okay. I think. Okay. I don't think anybody really shoots that anymore, but I think that's what most of that Fordite stuff was, was just like almost powder coated. It was so hard. How long did, was that stuff And you had to used? bake it, I think. I don't know. Cause, uh, Quite a while? Or yeah, that was in, in the 90s. They were, that was the hot new thing. And then okay. In the 2000s, it seemed like that kind of went away. So I lost a bunch of years in there on paint technology. Yeah, because you weren't doing a lot of painting. Because I wasn't doing a lot yeah. of painting. And I was, well, and even when I was, I was still going, you know, mm -hmm. I was doing the old school stuff. Are there any so, questions that we got so far um, we need to get to? Or are, people, or are people just like, chug, chug, chug? <laughs> no one's saying chug, are they? <laughs> What's one of them? That... Uh, white fleet bands are single stage. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine. Um... Yep. Okay. So what's two-stage paint then? Chris? So two-stage is um, a base coat, clear coat, where you shoot a base coat on, 
and the base coat is never to be used as a top coat, as a finish. Okay. Uh, you always have to put something over the top of it, whether it's shiny or matte or whatever it is, but it's always got some sort of clear over the top. All right. What if you went into the, the, the automotive paint store and said, I need a polyester sanding sealer? Um, Would they have something that was even remotely like? They might. They might have something similar, yeah, but it would be gray or red oxide in color, okay. or maybe yellow. Okay. So or white. Now, what if you what if you called us, uh huh, and said, "Hey guys, I'm gonna paint a guitar using your method," which, by the way, is the same method as every other every other guitar builder that is worth a shit. What what would what would it even the be? ones that aren't worth the shit? Yeah, yeah, of no. The big guys. So you got wood, and then you got paint. What's uh -huh. what's in the paint strata? Uh, from from bottom to top, yeah. you need some sort of sealer. Well, Those no, we're, you're doing it the, oh, the way we ours, do it. Yeah. We use a product called Simtech. All right, so uh, we got wood, and then we got Simtech, uh -huh. which is a sanding sealer. Okay, and then we have some sort of base coat, which is color. It could be color. It could be translucent. Mm -hmm. Um, metal flake. Metal flake. It could be fabric. It could be no, no, no. Let's not confuse yeah. the issue with yeah. fabric. Yeah, because fabric goes on before yeah. sealer. Yeah, that goes on right on the wood. So you um, got wood, and then you got sealer, uh -huh. and then you got color of some kind. Yeah, some sort of base coat. Yep. Um, and then you got. And then you've got top coat or clear. Or clear. So that yeah. people have a problem with this. They're like, well, I already sprayed clear on it. No, you sprayed sealer. Oh, okay. Well, now I need to spray more sealer on top of the color. No, yeah. you don't need to seal the color. You need to you need to put top coat on the. Yeah. And it, it's it's once you get it down, it's like that's a no brainer. But until you get it down, it can be it can be a little bit confusing, especially if you're using you know, uh, internet forums as your go to so information source. Yeah. Because they're loaded with dipshits. They're not loaded. Yeah, they. Are. Well, I think the. A majority of them are loaded with people who are trying to do it using products you can get at Home Depot. Oh, and, that's true. You know, so you have the so you have the lacquer guys. Yep. And you have the polyurethane guys. Okay. And yeah. What about? Um, and there's um, always somebody that's willing to tell you how great their project turned out with either one of those products. Yes. Yeah, and maybe they did. Who knows? <laughs> yes, I just wanted to let you know it's coming up on 5:45. What happens at 5:45? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can show that body. At oh, some okay. Point. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what about uh, solar res? Never used it. Not a clue. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't either. It's probably. Where do you get it? You have to order it. Uh, have you ever yeah, seen it for I think sale? So. No, I've never seen it. So you can't. So it's just like getting Simtech sanding sealer. You have to order it from a company. You can't go to Home Depot or somewhere and just buy the shit. You gotta, you gotta. I think so. Seek yeah. it out yeah. and source it. Yeah. Uh huh. And it's probably, you know, the the, <laughs> um, the world of finishes. I think in a lot of ways starts with automotive because that's such a big industry. They're probably the ones who put the most energy yeah. and resources. Uh huh. In there, right? Yeah. And. Yes, ma'am. Just real quick. There was a comment saying that, uh, so even on dyed wood with visible grain, apply the sealer first. Interesting. It's tinted colored. Okay, all okay. right. There's a, there's a couple of things. Um, if you put dye directly on the wood first, you can put sealer over it, and then you can put top coat on that. Or... You can, before you put, and this is, the, this is the ideal way to do this, for like stuff like sunbursts and things like that, seal the guitar. Get it looking good, totally sealed up. Then mix your dye into a, what would you call it, a, a, a inner coat? I call it an inner coat or a mid coat. Clear. Okay, yeah. so mid coat because it'd be sealer, mid coat, top coat. Um, there's a, there's a handful of products that you can use if you have a PPG store in your neighborhood and you go in and say, I need a quart of DBC 500. They'll know exactly what you're talking about and you won't look like a tool. If you get DBC 500 and any of the stuff that you used to use with lacquer, plop it right into DBC 500 and you're good to go. So you can do translucent colors. You can do reds and greens and blues, see-throughs. 
candies. You can do, you can mix up, you can mix metal flake into it. You can mix uh, uh, metallic powder into it. You can do anything that you want. And then you can spray top coat on top of that. Now, DBC 500 is not a final finish. It's not a single stage paint. It is just what goes in the middle and you gotta put clear coat on it. It's a clear base coat. It's a medium yeah. for your yeah. weirdness yeah. that you want I, to add to. And I get it, it's kind of tricky. You little clear base coat. Um, well, so, so, and if you say clear base coat, and you, well, what does that mean I don't have to put clear on it? No, it does not mean that. It just means that you can see through it and it's a base coat. Yeah. Um, so if you say, I, I've got, I got my body, it's ready to go with Simtech Easy Sanding Sealer 2850. Now I want to put like uh, a sunburst on it and I'm going to spray, I'm going to mix my trans tint I got from Jeff at trans tint or from Stumac and I'm going to mix it in with my DBC 500, which is also known as some other names by other brands as um, Color Blender, Mid Coat, Clear, what did you call Intermediate, Clear. There's all sorts of things it could be. Um, and you it, you can use it just like you would with lacquer. Um, and then you get that on there, do your sunburst, and you're like, wow, yeah, that looks cool, man. Now what do I do? Now you go out and you get Clear. So what do you use for Clear, Chris? What do we use? Yeah. We use uh, a product called EuroClear from Tamco Products. Mm -hmm. Uh, we get it online from the Tamco website. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Now, yeah. we've used PPG Clear. We've mm -hmm. used lacquer. Uh, back in the old, old days, yeah, we used it. Yeah. We don't spray any lacquer anymore at all. No. Really. Every so often, we'll touch up like this much of a and I think but. I think every brand has a pretty top shelf Euro Clear. Mm -hmm. um, there's some mid-grade Euro Clears. There's bottom grade stuff. Um, the reason that we picked Tamco was we were having some small issues with our previous product and we asked Mike Learn what his favorite one was yep. right now and he said, well, I've been using this Tamco and I really like yeah. it. Yeah. So we ordered that on his advice. And Mike Learn has probably forgotten more about paint than I'll ever know. Yeah, and I, but, you know, yeah. I trust the guy and yeah. we could have we gone over to the PPG store and gotten harassed by the lady and, <laughs> and maybe gotten something that we like, or maybe not, or we just, you know, it talked is, to Mike. It was my understanding that, that a lot of the stuff that was the, the, the one step down from PPG didn't have the same um, uh, like, UV. Like UV coating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's partially true. Um, I'll bet you I'll bet you that, that PPG and their top end, top of the line stuff has something top, top of the of line. The line. Just as good as the Tamco, but I'm we'll sure. never know because we're not going over to that. Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna try and yeah get that yeah. information from that woman. Now, what about this? What if you got Simtech sealer, and you got Simtech color and Simtech clear? Is that the best possible finish combination you can get? Or if I you got PPG know. sealer and PPG mid coat and PPG top coat, is that better than? Can you mix and match? Yeah, you can mix and match. Um, to a certain degree. Okay. Brands, not necessarily like Yeah, that. brands. Um, yeah, uh, I think some of that's trial and error. I don't, okay. but you can't, you can't go mixing. Um, here's, here's the money shot right here. <laughs> you can't, you, you can't go from waterborne to, uh, to oil based to. So you're like, I got this awesome. Check to... out this awesome color I got. It's Krylon. Mm -hmm. It's I want to I want to paint my guitar camo. Yeah. And I I got this awesome Krylon camo and it's perfect. It's mm -hmm. and it's awesome and I can get it in the can and it's like three bucks and I got it. Now I'm gonna spray clear lacquer over the top of it. Oh, then shoot. what happens? Two K over the top. It could react. <laughs> it could, it could react. also not react. Now when Chris says it could react, doesn't it? It's gonna burst into flames. No. Like a car falling off a cliff on a movie. It's gonna uh, blister yeah. or it's gonna it could bubble, bubble or pop. Yeah. The or, lacquer is yeah. a hotter paint. It can eat that stuff. Yeah, lacquer yeah. can definitely eat yeah. a lot of that stuff. And a lot of those, a lot of things in spray cans are designed to go on. And stay kind of flexible. Okay. You know, they have a lot of. They're they're not designed to get rock hard where you can like sand little, them and buff them. Malleable. Yeah. 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 Mike Learn always talks about bubble gum and how Krylon is a yeah. lot like bubble gum, yeah. and it just never really gets completely hard. So. <laughs> He's hard. a never hard. Yeah. Kurt's a never hard. Got to mm -hmm. fold it in half, shove it up there. Yeah. So. 
Who's bad, Kurt? Bad mom. Oh, okay. Did we get a thing we need to, we need uh, to yeah. acknowledge? Yeah, Drew Tomeko gave us $10 hey, for beer. Hey, thanks, Drew. Yeah, totally. And then, <laughs> and then Doug said, most painters, Doug uh, Santinello said, uh -huh. most painters end up as drinkers due to not wearing respirators. Mm. I don't know if he's talking about me or not. He could be. I did know. Um, so I actually owned a paint, uh, uh, a commercial and residential painting business for a bunch of years, and we had a lot of painters. And I don't know if it was necessarily the, the painting that turned them that way, but there certainly are a lot of drunken guys that are also painters. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, speaking of paint, uh, Chris and I talk a little bit about, and we're going to show you here in just a second. Um, we had today our very last, our final class in the online training series. And I think I want to make that a, a, like anybody can watch it video. Okay, cool. And so you guys can see, and now it's two hours of, of really boring and every and there's like a few minutes of really exciting paint work, but there's a lot of this is paint drying, like yeah, happen. taping, cleaning, things like that. And we're going to show you the guitar that we painted, and and you can you can have a, an idea of what's going on there. Yeah. The reason I bring that up is because um, everybody who signed up for the class was able to uh, watch live and interact with us and ask questions and hey, can you move the camera and so and so. Um, and we're going to probably do more of that online stuff. We don't know which we're, what we're going to do yet. We're probably not going to do any more three-month-long intensive things. It'll probably be like, hey, guys, on, you know, June 8th, we're going to do a guitar, how to change a tremolo, whatever it is. We're going to have, have a, a, an event, and you can, you know, you can buy the class, and you can watch online. Um, the other neat thing about uh, the online training is, and a few of you have taken advantage of it, um, you can buy the previous classes. So right now there's 24 hours of online training and you can eventually you'll be able to buy them all and you can watch them as many times as you want. So there's good shit in there. You want me to go grab the guitar body? Sure. You want to tell or us? I'll grab the guitar body and you well, keep talking. Can I, can right. I yes, hit on something a couple of course. steps back? About, of course you can. You know, uh, the seeing the wood grain and translucent colors yes. and putting sealer on first. Yes. So if you have a really great body you love and it came out just tits and ice cream mm -hmm. and you want to try a new weird paint job, definitely seal it first. Definitely seal it first. You don't want to stain it, it and screw it up and yeah. then it's in the grain. Yeah. If you don't like the way it came out, you can just knock it back Some, and start over yeah. again. Some woods take dye and stain better than others. In my experience, what I have found is that dye and stain goes on kind of blotchy. Now, there are some people who go, well, you know what you could do? You could add this thing. Yeah, you could do that. Or what you could do is you could seal it first and then and then apply um, the, the translucent paint in the form of uh, Color Blender, Inner Coat Clear, to use a brand name, DVC 500, mixed with dye. And then it'll be nice and even and it'll be wonderful. So Chris has a, a very cool guitar here that... Woo! Look at that. Sexist. What is? Sexist. What's going on? How come? How's come? It's blue in how's there. How's come? It's blue because it's a shop. Got a shop towel in there. So it's actually red under the shop towel, but we yeah. wanted to keep the paint off of the uh, off of the. Off can of we pull apple. that out now? No. No. We can't pull it. It's still too sticky. too sticky. Yeah. Still okay. Yeah. All right. So um, what do we got here? So this this guitar is uh, this is one of our fabric top. Uh, this is a daily driver, but this is not your daily daily driver. Uh, this is a, a fabric top with a mud flap girl f hole. It's all hollow all through here. Uh, you can even see. Watch, I'm gonna put my finger in there. So, um, of course, you could do that anywhere, but you could put your <laughs> finger in here. You could put it, yeah. So the 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 guitar is hollow. How about that? Mm -hmm. um, then on the side, we we bound the guitar, but we put a little burst. So we actually bound it, and then we added kind of a the 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 astute among you will notice. Hey, there's a. Um, let me get my danger glasses. Yeah. So this just came out of the booth. It was just. It's, wild, just, it's still smelly. Yeah. 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 Still wet, sticky. Yep. So if you look at the edge, you roll it over to this side, Chris, towards towards Miss Thing. So if the astute among you will notice that it's got a black a black binding and then a, and then a, a clear or a transparent binding. So the black binding is actual plastic binding. Um, it's ABS binding from Stuart McDonald. And then the, the, the other like quarter inch there that's lighter natural. is just a natural mask. That was before this. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so it's got a natural mask like Paul Reed Smith does. So the astute among you will know, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how Paul Reed Smith does it. And then there's, you, we've got the, the burst edge here, and then Chris is going to continue rotating it. And voila. Pow. 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 So, so, yeah, so it's got the, the teeny burst on the back. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's got just about everything, and it's it's uh, <laughs> it really is. It's about as tight. Carrie, will you hand me that that neck for the guitar? Yes, sir. If you would, please. So this is the first time we've ever done anything because we bound this, and then Matt decided that he wanted it to be a fabric top. Matt decides all sorts of weird and things. And we could have gone back and rebound it. Yep. To get that hard line of the binding on yep. the top. But we decided to forego that and try this. So it's it's kind of unique that underwear, it's Jeff. got, you know, this hard line of the the bottom. Why edge did of the we binding. decide to do that? And do, just because it's neat. Yeah, and because we like bursts on cheetah. Yeah. yeah. No, but why did we decide to do the the, the natural trim thing? Oh, just because we could, and, <laughs> this and was yeah, fun. yeah, and it's it's fun to do, and I think it's it's kind of cool to show off Question the the wood as Question. I accidentally touched the body. Question for you. Uh huh. Does it match your panties? Yeah. I, I told Joe it matches mine. So the this back is does. Joe is interested in Chris's panties. Yeah. So the, this the, is the back the... matches my panties. Oh, just, does it? You have sunburst drawers, no, except for the except oh, for this. <laughs> just one little spot. This yeah. like darker stain is in the middle of his panties. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on, keep that up there on that side. So this is the neck for this guitar, and it is our daily driver neck. It's got uh, rosewood board. And that's, we, we painted the headstock black. Um, and it also has a see-through red, which I think is awesome. And I think it's super awesome that it doesn't match the sunburst. I think it's totally, totally rad. And it's the so redneck. It's it the, is the redneck. So redneck you imagine Barbie. it'll look a little bit like the, it's going to be over-the-top cool. So I need a guitar just as tacky as me. So... Poo burst. Well, because I was talking to Chris the skid Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I hope that he didn't think that our, our guitar burst was a poo burst. I no, so. I, I went to All right, I'm going to go put this back. All right, good idea. Be Before I it. accidentally stick my fingers in it. Yeah, good idea. So um, this guitar will be ready to go here in a little while. We want to um, we want to have this guitar ready to be assembled when Dylan comes out. And we're going to see if we can't get Dylan to... Um, Wind us a super cool Tele Bridge pickup for that, and um, yeah, and that would be a cool thing to do. Um, let's see, fuck off, Tiger Flame. It's both the leopard. I don't know what that means. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we want to get Dylan to kind of help us put this thing together and see if we can't come up with something really, really neat to do with him in conjunction with uh, that guitar that we that we put together, and then and then have it be a, a awesome. Guitar reveal. I think that would be. It. I'm really looking forward to this reveal. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Chris, is there anything else you want to talk about with like how to not sound like a tool at the paint shop? Well, I think if you just kind of go in and, and have some uh, some basic knowledge of, of what's going on, because yeah. And, well, and and I think also it depends on what paint store you're going in to. Um, if you're, you know, if you're doing stuff with with cans. That's if, a different store if than... You, yeah, if you, and if you call, like, Re Ranch or Stuart McDonald, they're going to kind of have an idea of what you're talking yeah, about if you use yeah. a lot of guitar-centric words. Yeah, yeah. But if you go into the automotive paint store, which is what all the all the big companies pretty much use, automotive-style paints, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a, it's a different, it's, it's different stuff yep. than some of the other things. Um, that was great. I thought it was I, I think that's very informative, I think. It's a little confusing to kind of like follow the whole thing all the way around, but yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Guys, I want to give you a, a heads up real fast. Mrs. Toast was absolutely livid this morning. It wasn't even 8 o'clock, and the shop phone that gets forwarded to my cell phone starts ringing. It's and actually our old shop that, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, guys... If you want to call the shop phone, please feel free to do so. But I'm not available 24 hours a day. Um, the best way to get in touch with me is through email. I am always checking emails. I'm always replying to emails. I don't get back to you every single second of every day on email. 
but don't call me at 7.45 on a Sunday and expect me to be super friendly. How about that? Fair enough. Um, okay. Uh, the other thing is we've got a couple of new videos coming out. One is coming out tomorrow at 10 o'clock Mountain Time, and it's called What Leo Fender Got Wrong and How to Fix It. I think. Do you think anyone's going to watch that? I don't think that's going to be a controversial video I don't video think so either. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's already scheduled, so keep your YouTube thing. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell thing. But 10 o'clock tomorrow, new, new video that's actually... I think it's going to be surprising what I do and what I show you guys and how easy what I'm about to, what it's in the video is. What, I wonder how many people are going to be irritated by what you did. Oh, a, lo well, a lot of people, I think, will what be irritated by what, oh, you just have to wait until yeah, you see the video. Yeah, you have to wait and watch. So yeah, they'll be, they'll be upset that I, of course, it's, I did it on a customer's guitar. Right. And, you know, it, they're just going to have to, you know, see what I did. Yeah. Um, the, and, and I even said, look, I don't recommend that you do this with your vintage guitar. Uh, it might lower the resale value. But if you, you know, if you actually use your guitar, mm -hmm. this is a, it, what, what would you? Well, and that was kind of what. It's his guitar. It's his guitar. Want. And he, he even said, yeah, you know, I want to do a couple of things to, you know, kind yeah. of customize it and make it mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You know, for some guys that's a new pick guard, and for other guys it's, it's a little more than that. Yeah, yeah. So this, I think though that this is a this is a feature that is, it's actually a value added feature, and it was easy to do, and yeah. and I think that yeah, I don't know if I necessarily think that Leo Fender got that wrong, but you know we did a video a long time ago called what Leo Fender got wrong, and and everybody loved to flame me on that, so yeah, we'll see what yeah. happens. But it is kind of interesting that all of his stuff was usually pretty practical. Yeah, that seemed... And that was um, a less not... Than, yeah, but yeah. he also didn't think that any of the guitars were even going to need truss rods. Oh, okay. And yeah. so they, they kind of... He did it under duress. Yeah, and he... And they, maybe it, that's why yeah. it was the way it yeah. was. So dude brought in a couple of guitars. One of them wasn't even a Fender, but we did the same modification on his ESP that had the same kind of mm -hmm. deal. Yeah. And I think it, it looks great, and it works well, and it's easy to do. What Leo Fender got wrong and how to fix it coming at you tomorrow. What about your? Uh, I started editing the um, the the metal flow. Oh, good. We just need to do like a wrap up An on outro? that. Outro. Is then, it is it done? Uh, well, I'd like to wipe it off and then do it. But yeah. Do we need a buff anymore? I or? don't think so. Oh, okay. So we just need to. I think it's it's all ready to go. I just yeah. got to add the. Hey, so yeah, if you're blah outro. blah blah, then do uh -huh. the thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Is there anything else, Mrs. Toast, that you would like to add besides don't call at? 7:45 on a Sunday and expect me to be nice. You were I was I was try I was really biting my tongue. I thought you were going to come stomping back there and start hollering. So who was biting their tongue? Yeah, I guess that's true. You were yeah, yeah. And I I wasn't trying to get all kung fu, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, uh is that it? Everybody? I think so. All right, guys. I hope that you are having a safe and productive week coming up. Try to stay out of the cities where all the riots are. Try to stay safe. Wear a mask if you have to. Have an extra change of underpants in your backpack. Do Always that whole a thing. Good idea. Always a good idea. This is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. Life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. You might as well buy it from us. And um, 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 yeah, uh, spade and neuter your pets. That's Bob Barker's thing. <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care. Come on, goddammit.